comes to global education, we've made real progress on getting girls through primary school. But when it comes to secondary school, in many parts of the world, girls still lag far behind. Believe it or not, in some countries, fewer than 10% of girls ever complete high school. Now, for many girls, the barriers are resources. Families can't afford school fees. The nearest school is miles away. They have no way to get there. Or maybe there is a school nearby, but it doesn't have the adequate bathrooms. Maybe girls can't afford feminine hygiene products. So whenever they have their period, they have to stay home. They fall behind. They wind up dropping out. But often the problem isn't just about resources. It's also about attitudes. Because when girls hit adolescence, that's often when they're first subjected to the beliefs that the societies hold about women. Beliefs that girls should be forced to get married and have children as early as possible. Or that they should stay home and do household labor to support their families. Now, I just want us to take a moment and put ourselves in these girls' shoes for just a moment. Let's think back to when we were their age. And for many of you, you are their age. Remember how it felt to be sitting in a classroom knowing full well that we were so much smarter than the boys. <laughs> the teachers would ask a question and the boys would they blather on and on. And we'd roll our eyes because we actually knew the right answer. It's kind of like today when you watch your poor husband frantically trying to do two things at once while you're calmly doing six. You will understand this as you get older. But seriously, these girls might live halfway across the globe, but they are in many ways a lot like you and I were back when we were young. They are so talented. They are curious. They are outspoken. They have so many ideas about what they're going to be when they grow up. And then one day, someone taps them on the shoulder and says, sorry, not you. You're a girl. You have to stay home. You have to marry a man 20 years older than you and start having children of your own. Think about what that would have been like for you. To be told at the age of 12 or 13, that's it. Your dreams stop here. Imagine who you would be today if your formal education had ended after middle school. Imagine being a grown woman knowing only what you learned through eighth grade. Now multiply that by 62 million and you'll have some idea of the magnitude of this outrage.